I'm back with a lash video for you guys. I have some new Lash by Styles that I ordered and I'm going to be trying one of them in today's video. I actually have the Starburst lashes on right now, which are a spiky lash and I'm not one for spiky lashes, but these really grew on me. So I did two 14s, two 12s, and then I don't know if you can tell, but this itty bitty one in the inner corner is a Stardust in 10 millimeters. Stardust is a lot lighter than the Stardust Starburst. <laughs> it's like it's a lot of stars, but they're both a spiky lash. And then I stacked a 12 on the outer corner because I ran out of 14s and I really like this lash map. I almost don't want to take it off, but it is kind of time for it to come off. The outer corner is lifting a little bit like right here. And I think I'm going to keep these and reuse them because lash by lashes are not cheap. I think that's what keeps a lot of people from trying these lashes is the price. I remember when I first tried them back in, I think it was 2019 and I did the whole control kit review. A lot of people were saying that's so expensive and it is, it is expensive for their newest style velvet, which I have right here. I paid $28 just for one. So for two, that's over $50. And then I ordered the Fluffy Light, which is another new style. And those are for 25 bucks. So I ordered two of them, that's $50. And then I also ordered this case because I had nowhere to store my Gossamer lashes. They come in a little cartridge like this. So I saw that they had this online for $36. So my entire order total, which I signed up for text messages and I got a coupon for $25 off my order so i applied that and it came out to like 140 or something but i will give it to lashify the products are beautiful the lashes are beautiful and there's no two lashes that are exactly alike like every single lash in the collection is very unique and there's something for everyone i mean you got colorful lashes you have the eye line which they have since come out with a new one in couple elaboration with an artist and a whole control kit and stuff but today i'm going to be trying the velvet lashes which are these right here so i have a velvet in 10 millimeters this is the fluffy light in 10 and i also order them in 12 millimeters i only use 10s and 12s very rarely do i use 14s the only reason i used a 14 for these is because they're a spiky lash so you can go up a size with these since the longest lash is just the spike all the other fibers are shorter i used to be obsessed with the fluffy when Lash Five first came out with them, they were one of my favorite lashes because they were a beautiful D curl. They had the volume. They gave me like that Russian lash extension look, like that doll eye look. But over time, I've noticed that they're a little bit too stiff for me, and the D curl doesn't flatter my deep set eyes. So I have pretty deep set eyes, like my eye sockets are deeper set into my face when you look from the side so a d curl will like really hit my brow bone here so i opt for a c curl at most because that way it kind of gives the illusion that your eyes are not deeper set but everything is kind of flaring out and i have the three lashes here for comparison so this one here is the fluffy light it's not as fluffy as i thought it would be like when you look from the side the fibers are not as fluffy as I expected them to be, but they still look really pretty. And then this is the new Velvet Lash. This one looks stunning, and I don't know if you can tell, but the band has these little ridges on it. This is their new Grip Text Technology Lash Band. It's meant to like grip your lashes. And this is a plushy. Plushy is another one of my favorite lashes from them. I think it's a really beautiful style. And these are all 14 millimeters. I'm not sure why this one looks so long, but I just wanted to show this for comparison. So we have the Fluffy Light, the velvet with the grip tech slash band and then a plushy. I love how the velvet has those flared tips. That is something that I look for when I look for a lash cluster is those flared tips. I don't know if you can tell, but the fluffy light, most of the lash fibers are the same length. When you look from the side, you can see that the lash fibers all kind of have the same length versus this one has varying lengths and it just looks stunning. And then also it fans out. So when you place them side by side, when the lashes fan out, it kind of covers any gaps that might happen in between lash clusters. So with the fluffy I noticed because they were more stiff you have to follow the natural curve of your eye shape when you're applying them and when I would place them side by side I had like this gap in between and they were too bulky to stack so then they would lift and I kind of grew out of them because of that they just weren't flowing as beautifully as I wanted to so I'm really hopeful for these velvet ones because they kind of have basically everything that I'm looking for. I removed the lashes my 
eye area is now ready for a new set of lashes. You're gonna need a lash glue. I have this Whisper Light double-sided glue from Lashify. I actually have come to really like it. One side has a clear glue with a felt type tip and the other side has a black glue with a micro mascara wand. And I don't know if it comes pre-bent or I pre-bent it, I can't remember. But I like having both because both come in handy when applying lashes. You're also gonna need an applicator. I have the little baby one here, which I love. And then obviously you need the lashes. And then I use a mirror. You can get something like this off of Amazon. One side has 10X magnification and it has a light, but I don't really use the light. And I hold this at chin level so that when I look at this mirror here, I can see my under lash completely. You can also use a regular mirror that swivels and place it down below you in your lap, whatever, somewhere below you so that when you look down at the mirror, you can see your under lash exactly where you're applying it. What we're gonna do first is apply some glue to your natural lashes just at the base. I personally do not like to swipe it through like mascara because it causes my lashes to clump together and I just don't like how that looks. So I just dab some. This is why this micro mascara wand comes in so handy. And I like that this formula isn't super wet so it's not gonna glob on a lot at once. But just dab some along the base. A little bit goes a long way and it gets tacky right away. Like when I touch this, it already has like this Velcro tackiness to it which is super helpful when applying. I'm gonna grab the white glue. You can also use that same black glue. You don't need two glues for this. I'm using this one because it has a brush, but I brush some onto the lash band. So I have glue on my natural lashes and then I also have some glue on here. This is called double bonding. This is something Lashify kind of came out with when they first started out. And it has been very helpful to create a really secure hold. So if you're struggling with the lashes lasting, try this out especially if you overlap your lashes because this kind of covers all the bases to make sure that you have glue exactly where you need it. And I like to start on the outer corner. I know some people like to start in the inner corner. Everybody's different. I start on the outer corner and I apply it as close to the roots as possible without touching the waterline. And then also when you're applying them, follow the natural curve of your eye shape. So those are just some things to consider when applying them. When you shut your eyes at the end, you squeeze them shut, you should not feel any poking. If you feel any poking, that means you either angled it improperly, you're not following the curve of your eye shape, or it's too close to the waterline. You should not feel these at all. So that's a 12 millimeter lash. I think I'm gonna do one more 12, repeat these exact same steps, and do 10 millimeters for the rest of them. I overlap the edges just a little bit because it makes for a very seamless look. You don't have to overlap these because they're so fanned out. But I do it just a smidge, and because you have glue on the spine, you're not gonna get lifting. Versus if you only had glue on your natural lashes and you overlapped the edges, there is no glue on the spine of this one. So there's nothing holding it down to the previous lash. This is why I like double bonding, applying glue to my natural lashes, as well as to the spine. And these lashes look absolutely stunning. I can't wait to see what they look like when they're all on. These lashes are so beautiful. Now that I have them on, I'm gonna go ahead and pinch them to my natural lashes. This is called fusing. And I also do this about once a day while I have them on just to make sure they're nice and secure. If you get out of the shower, wait until they're dry before you go ahead and pinch them because you might move them. The curl on these is more of a flat C curl, I would say. And I only have four lashes because of how far they fan out. I only needed four. So I have two 12s and two 10s. I probably could have done like a half lash in the inner corner, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Finish the other eye and show you guys the finish look. Here is both eyes done. These lashes are stunning. They kind of cover the basis of everything that I look for in a lash personally. The only thing missing, I would say, is dimension. So for example, the fluffy, when you look at it from the side, the lash fibers kind of have a staggered look to them. What I'm talking about is the curl. A fluffy lash has like different curls to it. 
So it's not so talking about it from this angle, it's talking about it from the side, like when you look at it from the side. Which to me, I love that look because it kind of gives a natural lash extension look. That's probably the only thing missing, but these are gorgeous. They definitely have like that velvet sheen to them, but not like a plasticky velvet sheen. Fibers are very, very soft, probably some of the softest fibers that Lash By has. They are dense at the base and then kind of taper out at the edges. They fan out, they're light, they have that new group text technology. They're expensive, but they're worth a try. And these I will be reusing and washing 100%. I put my spiky lashes in a little jar like this and then once it's time to take these off i'll plop them in here as well and wash them the last step would be to seal them i have the waterproof sealer here i haven't really noticed if this makes them last longer but it's worth a try if you deal with longevity issues sealers also help to get rid of any stickiness this one is nice because it doesn't leave a waxy film on your lashes like all the other sealers or the original formula of lash by sealer that one does leave a waxy film so don't run it through your lash fibers otherwise it will coat them in what looks like wax this one is waterproof so it doesn't leave that waxy film which i love and this is kind of the last step so i love having sealer in the collection this is what the lashes look like from a distance you have that density at the base and then they flare all honestly these lashes are they truly are beautiful they're expensive they are expensive if you sign up for the membership you can get i think like a 15 percent discount i did it because you have to pay 50 dollars for the monthly membership on top of having to buy lashes at least that's how i understood it plus five percent back i think and you're collecting the lash cash or something like that i just didn't see a benefit from it for me right now i don't think the velvet are part of the subscription just yet i could be wrong but usually you can reuse these like multiple times so that's my take on the velvet i just really wanted to add my review for anybody that loves this kind of lash for my next lash i'll try the fluffy light i hope you guys found this video helpful thank you guys for hanging out with me today and i hope to see you guys in future videos